Evening Time World Showcase, yeah. August 2022. Thanks for the rundown. A murder is taking place. I thought I hoped not. How? Something, maybe. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? You hungry? Well, I can eat, I guess. We're back in World Showcase. It's really hard. We only do that kind. That's, that's all we do now. <laughs> so we're heading uh, into the park to do a few more booths tonight. Check off a few more on the food and wine list. Yep. Okay, we start off the evening at Greece. That's Brittany. Yes. She's taking pictures for the Instagram, which will never go on the Instagram. And it's all going to go on the Instagram. Oh. This is the grease, the Spanakopita, <laughs> the grilled cheese, the lamb, the hero, and a few drinks down below. All right, you went to Greece. I did. We scrambled our way. It's a little crowd, more crowded this evening. It is Saturday night. Locals are out, baby. Yeah. All right, we've got the brittle cheese this with honey the, and uh, pistachios. Also on Emile's fromage montage. Ah, another stamp in the book. Another stamp in the book. And this is a returning favorite. It is a returning favorite, yes. Right. And then new to Greece this year is the lamb hero with some tzatziki and lettuce tomato. I see. All right, we're gonna cut this up or do you wanna take a bite of the hero first? I can take a bite of the hero. Looks like it might have a banana pepper in it. I think they're yellow tomatoes. Ah, they are yellow tomatoes. So we got some lamb, some tzatziki. Looks to be like a decent like amount of Like lamb. a shaved lamb. Yeah. I don't really get any flavor out of the lamb. So. Dry? No, it's tender. It's not dry. It just needs a little more seasoning. It's just a little bland. Oh. It just tastes like tzatziki and tomatoes to me. All right. We're going to cut into this grilled cheese and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, here's the griddle grilled Greek cheese. Returning favorite, got some honey, some pistachios, a whole lot of goodness. And your like thoughts it. this year? Still good. Yeah? It's a mild cheese. And then with the honey sauce, that like adds a little sweetness to the bite of the cheese, so I like it. Right. So still still a good flavor profile on that one. Still a good, yep, still a returning favorite. Still a hmm. good profile. Well, we got some storms moving in yet again, as it seems to do every night this week. We avoided the rain, so I'm gonna do my shots real quick, and then we're uh, probably gonna seek cover again tonight. What you think of the Lamb Hero? It's good. Got some chew. I got no tzatziki, because I came from the top. Oh. No. Oh. That helps a little bit. That's a tzatziki sauce. Do you get any? Me. Do you get any flavor out of the lamb? Mm -hmm. right. A little bit. Okay. It's not overpowering. You know the problem with the lamb, like on the cruise ship, was it was super gamey. Yeah. This does not come off as gamey at all. I like the lamb moussaka better when it was like in the season. We're trying to grill Greek cheese. It's so good. Yeah. It's a little different of a flavor, but the profile still plays out. Mm -hmm. It's still a good dish. I, I think you should definitely try this if you haven't tried it before. Right? Yep. I would agree. All right. Well, these storms are pending. They are coming down soon, but we have flown through the night from Greece to Japan. Isn't that right? As she takes her pictures. Sorry. Uh, and uh, what'd you get? Well, I got you said the, you were disappointed. That was your first response. The takiori, okay. uh, which is octopus and I don't know, there's a... Um, Looks like fried octopus. There's some nori. Yeah, they're like balls. Fried octopus balls? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I should say it like that, but... I got the yuzu lemon drop okay. as well. Oh, all right. It has vodka, lemon, and yuzu. Because what Japan is known for is their vodka. 
Am I right? Or am I right? I like that. That's very tart lemonade. I said I was disappointed only because I, I'm waiting to taste this, but I'm thinking it's probably not going to be warm. Yeah. Because they had a bunch from uh -oh. air. They've all been of sitting there. Everything, and it has been sitting for a long time. But yet the lines seem to move pretty slow for being that prepared. And this was pre-mixed. Oh. So I don't know, like, it tastes fine. I just don't know how much vodka is actually in there. All right. The octopus is actually more. This is $8.50. The drink was $8. $8.50. $8.50 and $8. All right. So. We'll try the octopus balls. When they come in this presentation, they're octopus on a stick, it looks like. It is. I don't know. <laughs> That's you what they look like. Are you taking a full octopus ball? Oh, that came across mushy. Oh. oh no, that face. It Eight, is mushy. 850, huh? It's not warm. I don't know if it's supposed to be warm. I think it is. Is it is it like cold cold or is it just Yeah, it's like cold. It's lukewarm because it's, like it's cold mushy. Oh no. And it's not cold cold. It's not like ice cold, but it's like been sitting around over room temperature cold. <laughs> I don't know what the... Ugh, I, I don't know. I don't Are know you going to finish this dish? I don't know if I want to take a second bite. An 8.50 for this. There's like maybe some coleslaw on the bottom. That's kind of bitter. It has some soy sauce taste to it. Oh boy. So this is I not am, your dish. I am not a fan. You willing to let me try before we get the house yeah. here? Yeah. By the rainstorm? or? Okay, we'll turn the camera around and we'll give it a shot. Not looking forward to giving this a shot based on your reaction, but who knows? We like different things. Maybe we'll... No, there's some fishy taste to it. It's it's not great. That is not my thing. That's awful. I wish I had gone to the tried and true teriyaki chicken bun. It's like fishy gel. It, Cold it, fishy gel. It's real gross. And I think it's supposed to be hot and fried. It's not. Yeah. I think it's just been sitting there. Yeah. And, and I mean, he probably had like a hundred sticks made. I don't think it's non edible. It's just. <laughs> it is not my flavor. No. And if you it don't like fishy it's stuff. Rough. Yeah. By the way, this is $8 for like a shot. I know. It's really not a lot of a pre-mixed cocktail. It's, it tastes, you know what it tastes like? A sparkly alcoholic lemonade. It's not sparkly. Sparkly? But you know what I mean? It kind of has a bubbly taste to it. I don't find that it has a bubbly taste. <laughs> I don't know. But all right. A sweet maybe? That sweet might be the sour. yuzu. I don't know. I don't know on either of these dishes. I don't think <laughs> either one is, is um, a very good option. The, pan to the Japan booth and just what just happened there. What happened? They, they just closed. They are hunkering down. They hunkering down. The, the booth completely. Hurting one of the last customers to go through there. Yeah. So we better find our own spot to uh, wait this storm out. Looks like it's going to be pretty extreme. You are in the dark. We are waiting out the rain. What rain? Pan this way, Doug. <laughs> Look All at the of rain. All of this rain right here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It's showing up when I zoom in on it, yeah. But it's raining pretty hard. This seems like a repeat of last night. We're, we've run into a few weather struggles. It was right when you said that everything was coming up rich. So. <laughs> yeah. And the weather had to it disagree. Really, it really jinx it, I uh, It's my fault. Things. Totally my fault. Uh, but we got a new two booths so far. Hopefully, if we get one more booth, then we'll have done six today. That's a pretty good accomplishment. That's a pretty good accomplishment. Not great, not but good. Great. Really five and one drink. But yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, so we've got about 45 minutes until Epcot closes. So hopefully, we, it'll stop and we can grab food at one more place. Yeah, that's the hope. So, we're hoping to make it to Hops and Barley. Yeah. And then maybe reverse track and try and beat the crowds. Yeah. If they pull off Harmonious, which... Uh, I don't know yet. It's pretty nasty. Gonna have to move. 
Yeah. All right, Brittany, what's your final booth of the evening? Well, it rained. And then? It rained. And then? It rained. The deluge. The deluge. <laughs> well, so we're back in landscape of flavors. We are. There's some clouds up there and some <laughs> other stuff. And you got? I got. A 50th anniversary. For the 50th. Walt's chili and a bread bowl. That's delightful for 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. But you, at least you get a bread bowl out of it. It's pretty decent. You could use some sour cream. Oh, sour cream. That would be really good. Mm. But, yeah. So be it. <laughs> Give or take it? Give or take it. But don't worry, you got some desserts coming up too. I do. Okay, we'll check back in with you when you get to dessert. Okay. I'm getting nothing special, by the way. Just, just in case you want to know, it was uh, just chicken tenders and fries here. So uh, I'm not going to review chicken tenders and fries. If you like chicken tenders and fries, you should get chicken tenders and fries. Ladies and gentlemen, she ate it without you all joining her. She didn't show it off. It is the 50th cheesecake. There may have been a chocolate medallion right here that said 50th. What happened to it? It's eaten. Raspberry. Cheesecake. Why don't you want to include us on your journey? I was just ready to eat some cheesecake. It is good. I, I like that. You recommend the cheesecake? I do. Well. Yes. This is it for today. This is it for today. What would you grade the day? A C. Yeah. Wasn't a great day. I mean, it was okay. We, I mean, we did get some things. We got we, got, we had a room changed involved. It felt like it was going really good. And, and then, then Mother Nature ruined. It kind of slowed down, but and we didn't get as much accomplished as we wanted to. But that's really it's not on us. It wasn't errors that we made. Um, so yeah, it rained two times at, at crucial points in our day. Correct. So well, the pool bar's still open. You can get it. It's okay. I'm good. But oh well. We try again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we got some more on the docket. Yeah, we got some Disney um, Springs. Yeah, Disney Springs. We got some Animal Kingdom. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Maybe yeah. some more Epcot. Who knows? So. Um, yeah, we didn't get it. We, well, we're gonna have to go back to Epcot at some point, and yeah, hopefully, we, it doesn't rain for once. We gotta get some booze done. The problem with the rain tonight was that they actually closed and, and there was lightning. They yeah. closed at eight o'clock, so we couldn't even like, eat in the rain if we wanted to, right? Um, so yeah, at eight o'clock, so we lost a whole hour and we didn't even get there till 7 15. Right, so we so, got two booze done in, in 45 minutes. So. We really were hoping for four or five, yeah. but. But, oh. It is what it is. Would you like to comment on uh, Disney bus service? Disney bus service was fantastic tonight. Much improved. Um, because, we're, well, we're staying at a Skyliner resort, but Skyliner doesn't run with thunder and lightning and rain. So we had to take the bus, but I mean, it was a long line when we walked up and took about five buses, but they rolled them one right after the other. I think it only took maybe 15, 20 minutes to clear out the line. I agree. With five buses, so. Yeah, yeah. good job on Disney tonight. We are proud of them for it improving the bus. It finally seemed like they had the staffing right. Uh -huh. Like they had enough bus drivers and people out there working the the lanes, the bus lanes. So, yeah. yeah, so it's, it rolled smoothly. There were enough buses coming. Yeah. We just wanted to drop. Good job, Disney. Yes, good job. Way to, it, it was a tricky situation. Yeah. And they handled it with grace and ease as much as they could with yeah. how many people so were coming our way. So they rolled it through and... Our bus driver was very nice and worked well with our handicapped party and so yeah. Well, it all worked out well. Yep. So we're going to head to bed now. We are. Uh, we have a little bit of a late start tomorrow, which is nice. Get to sleep in a little bit. It's a Sunday, so we'll sleep in a little bit tomorrow and yep. uh, get after it. Uh, I'll leave you with a few views of Radiator Springs where we're staying this trip. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, like, subscribe. Thumbs up like Brittany's doing right now. There it is. And we'll see you in the parks.